Hi, my name is Lori Forzande, and I'm here today to tell you about my politically controversial book called Lori's Song. This is a picture of it, Lori's Song by Lori Forzande. This book entails my, I have to refer to some notes because I don't want to miss anything and I don't want to mislead people. This book entails my childhood from sexual abuse, domestic violence, and my lifelong struggle with substance abuse. But its main focus is what happened to me the day after 9-11. While I was in Iran with what my belief is my Iranian terrorist husband. The day after 9-11, I was placed in a POW type camp and was beaten, raped, and starved. It's still hard for me to talk about it. After my escape and return to the USA Embassy in Dubai, which was the closest embassy from Iran, the government paid my way home, but only after signing a non-disclosure agreement that I wouldn't talk about anything that happened to me. That's still hard for me to swallow. Um, they didn't want me to talk, and they didn't want me to talk to any reporters, although when I flew in from um, Dubai to Frankfurt to Detroit, um, there was a reporter there that told me that they had Christina Amapur on the line and interviewed me. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I knew via rumors that something was going to happen before 9-11 happened. There were rumors in Iran. My husband knew about the rumors. And just to fill you in here a little FYI, when I went to Iran in 1998 with my Iranian husband, I found out he executed Iranian war vets, and he was told to do so by the Iranian government. I also met President Hadami, and my husband is very much involved with political goings-on in Iran. But as I was saying, we knew something was going to happen. I tried calling home on the 9th, 10th, and 11th, and the international operator said that no international calls were being placed at that time. So I couldn't even warn anybody, and the guilt that I feel from that now is horrendous. When I arrived home, I weighed 70 pounds. Most of my teeth were knocked out. I had traumatic brain injury, and I had internal injuries from rapes with a foreign, foreign object. My local newspaper did an article about me and returning. I wrote senators, congressmen, and the president and still have not received anything from them. My story is very politically controversial. That is why I've yet to get an interview with any news stories regarding, regarding what happened to me. I do have proof of what could be expected. I survived the TV show Dr. Phil, The Mike Huckabee Show, and Barbara Walters have all contacted me but never followed up for interviews. The Mike Huckabee Show wanted me to go on there when they were going to stone that woman to death in Iran, but then when they didn't, he canceled. It's still vitally important we get the information out there of how they treat women in Iran. Okay. Um, sorry. I think it's important that they find out. When I first arrived in Iran, the first thing I saw was death to Amrika on one of the buildings. It was graffiti from 79, but it was still valid and you could see it. I also saw a woman getting hung by a crane because she committed adultery. They, they draw them up very slowly by the crane and for 20 minutes they let them dangle there and die. It's not a quick hanging and they encourage everyone to watch in town square, including the children. I also had an event happen when I was teaching English in Iran. One of my students, Layla, who I dedicate the book to, was drowned in her father's swimming pool with cement blocks because she wasn't a virgin on her wedding night. When that happened, I quit teaching. I'm speaking with you now to let you know that I think this information is pertinent to everybody in the United States. We're being hid behind a shroud and nobody knows anything except for what they want to tell us or exploit on the news. 
and half the time that's not even the truth. I have a, um, right now I'm talking with Dateline about doing an interview, but I doubt very much it'll come through because once these people realize the political controversial aspect of this book, they usually back out. I'm sorry. I just want to get to make sure I get all this. But please read the book. It's on Amazon. It's all over the web. I've gotten a Reader's Choice Favorite Award, which is um, on the cover of my book. I've received five-star reviews from professional reviewers, including the Midwest Book Review. Um, it's available on Amazon and my website, which I will give you at the end of this recording. Um, Please get the word out. We need to get the word out before another woman goes to Iran and doesn't know the fate of her future. She only knows what her husband tells her. He, my husband told me that things had changed. It was modern over there. They didn't treat women as draconian as they did in the past. Well, yes, they do. My husband, I believe, is a terrorist. He used to order executions. I witnessed that. I also witnessed, I met President Hadami. Um, I mean, I really, really believe he is a terrorist. And he was supposed to be on the no-fly list, is what they told me when I flew in in November 2001. Now he's back in the United States. I'm dealing with Homeland Security, but nobody seems to want to get him deported back because he was a naturalized citizen. The man has two or three different identities which are documented and can be verified. He's got two or three different social security numbers, which the law is, they're informed of. But nobody, he lied to get his naturalized citizenship. But nobody seems to care about this. They just kind of sweep it under the table. My belief is he talked to someone at customs and got a deal. That's why he's allowed free in this country. Well, what kind of safety is that giving us if a terrorist can come over here and just, what, snitch on other terrorists to get a free ride over here? We don't know what we're dealing with over here. I've had over 50 interviews done, 95%, I mean, interviews on the web and as far as book reviews, none on the news. 95% were five-star professional reviews. I won, as I said, I won a reader's favorite. We need to get the word out. This also, if you want any questions answered about Iran, the Iranians that support the USA, go to IPC, Iran Politics Club, and ask for a Raymond X. They supported me and printed my story long before any publisher published it. And I had to self-publish. All I wanted to do was get my book published get the word out about childhood sexual abuse, about Iran, about the politics of 911, and I just wanted to make enough money to get my teeth fixed that were knocked out in the camp and to give to charity. Funds from my book go to Amnesty International, Brighton Hospital for Drug Addiction, and Henry Ford Hospital, who's been treating me since 2005, and I can't say enough about these places. They're great. To sum it up, so no one misunderstands, you know, how people take half of a conversation and misunderstand it. I'm an American woman. I was married to an Iranian man. In 1998, he took me to Iran. Once there, I found out you need your husband's written permission to leave the country. I also found out that he was a terrorist, my belief because he was executing people, meeting with President Hadami. He would hold conferences and houses. He never wanted me to learn Farsi appropriately, so I wouldn't understand things completely. Um, I've got proof. The U.S. Embassy paid my way home. I was in a POW camp. My book contains my history. It had to start out with my history in the beginning. Otherwise, you wouldn't know the facets of my life. It's a complex, my life's complex, but there's reasons for that. I just want you to get the, get the word out about Iran and about everything that's in the book. On April 23rd, I'm attending an event 
called Stop the Silence. It's for childhood sexual abuse. I'll be having a booth there, and I encourage anyone who would be willing to sponsor that event, please get in contact. You can get in contact with me or go to the Stop the Violence website for childhood sexual abuse and just tell them I sent you. Again, I wanted to tell you, my website is www dot Lori's L O R I S dash song S O N G dot com. Again, that's www Lori's L O R I S dash song S O N G dot com. My book is Lori's Song by Lori Forzande. I encourage you to please read this book and get the word out. Since nobody's allowing me to get the word out the normal and comprehensible way, which would be news interviews. Um, please email me if you have any questions. Lori, L-O-R-I, at lorisong.com. That's Lori at Lori's, L-O-R-I-S, dash, song, S-O-N-G, dot com. Thank you for listening to me, and I really hope that this session will help a lot of people get some information out and please gossip a lot about this information. It needs to get out there and nobody's doing it political wise. Thank you.